Good evening, and here are the predictions for 2024. Something awful and completely random and out of the blue will happen to Megan Mountbatten Windsor. Her detractors will be frustrated because they won't be able to say that she brought it all upon herself, while her supporters will be frustrated because they will have no one to blame. The market in non-fungible tokens will experience a sudden rise when someone invents a revolutionary new form of yacht monkey, and then it will collapse when a small boy points out that the emperor is nude. Political commentators will become baffled when one of the main parties admits to trying to capture the centre ground. The other party will then internally bicker over the best way to react. This will lead to at least one of the parties actually coming up with a new stated policy, and the professional commentators, unused to having policies to talk about, will be left silently agape, leaving the debate to happen between ignorant amateurs on YouTube. Elon Musk will launch the world's first fully automated journalist called NewsX. The output of this machine will prove to be more reliably accurate than that of the average human journalist. A rival company will then, within weeks, launch a second automated journalist, Ybot, which will strongly disagree with over 90% of the output of NewsX. Climate activists will start to refer to the climate apocalypse. Uh, they continue to be ignored, and within a few weeks they will give Climageddon a go before quietly going back to climate change. A crowdfunding campaign will raise over £30 million to finance a flat earther expedition to discover the edge of the earth. This money will then mysteriously disappear. A conspiracy will be suspected. Britain's famous art award, the Turner Prize, will experiment with a public vote for the winner. The winner by a landslide will be the only painting entered that resembles anything recognisable. The judges will overturn the result. Iceland will ban mobile telephones for those under 18. At the same time, it will make them compulsory for all adults, but for all operating systems to display clear health warnings and include a safety cutoff feature which shuts them down if they are used for more than 20 minutes in one day. The rest of the world will await the results with interest and fear. President Vladimir Putin of Russia will suddenly suffer a mysterious stroke which will kill him. A coalition of senior Russians will show instant and impressive solidarity and replace the status quo with a new man, almost as though they had been prepared for this. The special operation in Ukraine will be declared successfully completed, and Russian forces will withdraw from Ukraine, but not from the Crimea. The world will then hold its breath and wait to see if the Ukrainians want to retake Crimea. A compromise will be sought, but the new Russian regime will turn out to be disappointingly uncompromising. New evidence will come to light that finally proves that Liberace was not gay. A Big Brother-style reality show contestant will be murdered during the show, and the rest of the contestants will remain locked in while police investigate. The show will continue, and it will later transpire that the entire thing was a stunt staged by the production company. South Koreans will indulge in a sudden mass hysterical orgy which leads to a huge surge in the local birth rate. The government will declare the orgy an annually recurring event. Donald Trump will win the USA election and opponents of his will do something embarrassingly similar to the invasion of the Capitol building of January 2021. An archaeological discovery in Egypt will be dated by scientific means to be far older than the pyramids, and a strong indication of the previous civilization so often postulated in sensationalist television history programs. Later, an error with the first dating will be reported, after a contamination of the sample is discovered. And the new date will put the find in line with the standard Egyptian chronology. Conspiracy theorists will then claim that the contamination was faked and will continue to refer to the earlier dating as proof that they were right all along, despite numerous careful repeats of the scientific dating which confirm the later date. A regulation will be passed that compels all films set in historical periods to declare an historical accuracy rating in their credits. 
the first film to get a rating of over 90% will prove to be a huge hit. The issue will then get complicated when the second film to get over 90% is a flop, and the debate will rage between those who blame the history and those who blame the fact that the film was rubbish. For a three-day period, the YouTube algorithm will cause the most popular videos all to be about the benefits of underwater carpentry as espoused by suspiciously good-looking Asian women. A Chinese conspiracy will be suspected. The former leader of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, will prove to be a huge hit when he agrees to play the dame in a panto in Birmingham. The panto will be filled with political gags and attract boisterous crowds. The Guardian newspaper will send an undercover reporter to review it, and he will write about almost nothing other than that the audience was probably made up of the wrong sort of people who were probably there for the wrong reasons. The run will be extended, but then cancelled by the local council which cites safety issues as the reason. It's behind you and oh no I didn't will become the main political slogans for the next three years. One of the world's main purveyors of ladies' clothing will launch a range of dresses with pockets. Initial sales will be given a boost when several celebrities get pictured wearing them. But still the range will be a spectacular financial flop. So many explanations will be very forcefully expounded that no one will dare to conclude which of them might be correct. The cryptocurrency Bitcoin will be hacked and the currency will collapse which will financially hit the criminal underworld hard, leading to a temporary increase in violent conflict within the world of organised crime and the collapse of two South American governments. Suddenly, half the people known by well-to-do types will be buying property in Romania, which will become this year's go-to holiday destination and everyone will be pretending to know and have known a lot about the country for ages. A new law will come into force in Liechtenstein which will compel the manufacturers of home computer printers to sell the ink at reasonable rates. Liechtenstein's economy will then skyrocket as it becomes overnight the world's leading exporter of printer ink. In the face of this competition, other countries will soon follow suit. There will be worldwide dancing in the streets and Ink Day will become the biggest internationally recognised festival. And finally, the winner of the latest thing to be, declared, to be declared very bad for you will be... Let's see, we've had uh, milk, bread, gluten, meat, cheese, sugar, green veg, eggs, peanuts, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, potatoes, starch, salt. There isn't much left. Oh, it is... It's tomatoes! Tomatoes will be declared very bad for you. Sales of tomatoes will be unaffected. Good night.